go. And the difference between what you're trying to do and what you're doing is track slip. And so what we can do is that we can then lift up the blade a little bit and help reduce the load in the front of that tractor, which uh, allows Bob to gather grid, gain traction again, and uh, be ready for that next push. So a box using slope assist here, and slope assist, that's our two-dimensional system. It's accessible right in the main machine monitor. So we don't have a separate monitor for that. It's really easy to get in and fire that up and use that. Uh, you can uh, either set a recall value with your slopes, which is what we call our advanced version of it, or he can just simply click the yellow button, and that's going to put him in the basic mode and allow him to just dynamically set the target uh, with his blade handle as he's working through that. So we're going to jump in and talk a little bit about GPS here, Bob. Yeah, I'm going to go in and uh, set up a simple design. Um, you see here, our design on the screen. It's uh, what's created the office. Now I'm going to go with what we call a depth slope. That's our uh, easiest system set up for the operator to see, apply that. So basically, I'm going to point to track in the direction I want the uh, design to be. You see it says bench heading required. I uh, bench that heading. Successful, now it's last me to bench my elevation. Okay, I've got that bench. So what I'm gonna basically do, I'm gonna create a ramp here in front of me with this pile. So at default level, I just put my 10% in. Now I'm going to engage my autos and drive forward, and it should uh, drive the blade up to make a ramp. You can see I'm not using any hands to run the window here. Go so back. So you're telling me, Bob, that you just created a, a design, a flat design in that machine? You didn't, you didn't put a jump drive in there? You didn't have to do anything like that? No, as long as I have the uh, GPS base station in place, I can uh, create any design, whether it be a flat, or in this case, sloping the incline, or uh, a bead ditch. It's a very simple solution to uh, operate, create a temporary design on the job site. It's pretty amazing. So this is, again, the new Tech with 3D system. Uh, it's got a 10-inch color touch screen that Bob's interacting with in there, and that's where he's setting up all of his settings and the design parameters and whatnot. And so the simple type of design that, uh, that he's done in there is what we call a depth and slope. So uh, pretty simple. He basically points the tractor in the direction that he wants the, uh, the flat design uh, to slope, if it were to slope. So that benches his heading. So he would basically point it uphill. And then he sets his blade tip at the appropriate uh, the appropriate elevation that he wants it to be at, and then he can go ahead and bench that elevation, and that just sets a nice, simple, flat design there. So, assuming you're kind of still running that design as you're coming around here, right, Bob? Yeah, I went back to the level, uh, the original design that they've been using for uh, getting this field uh, ready for a next demo. So, pretty simple and easy for you to switch back and forth between those designs using that tech right 3D. So I didn't talk a lot about the hardware involved in that, but uh, for those of you up top, pretty easy to see. Take a quick look on the back side of that cab. You're going to see a couple of little gray domes back there. And what those are are new Rugged Zephyr 3 uh, antennas that we have on the back. Yeah, you just barely see it up there in the TV. So what that is, is that's the antenna that sits on the back side there. The receivers, there's two of them, by the way. The receivers are kept in nice and tight right behind the seat there, uh, which is given, uh, obviously, doing all the, uh, all the math for the GPS. So it sits on top, receivers right behind the... Uh, right behind the, the, uh, the seat there. And then on the back side uh, of the cab, you can also see that yellow radio. So that yellow radio is obviously hooked up to our base station, uh, so it's receiving those corrections and then feeding that into the system. Now, this system does uh, work off of three inertial measurement unit sensors, three IMUs. There's one of them in the body of the tractor, there's one on the seat frame, and then there's one on the back side of the blade. And we put, we put those sensors in the factory on all these D5, D6, D7 size sensors, right? ARO kit on the D1, 2, and 3, and 4. Now those sensors are mounted at the factory. You can see if you take a quick look back side of the blade there, you got a blue cable, right? So that's the type of cabling and the type of heavy duty hydraulic hose that we use to uh, to bolster those sensor cabling and make sure that that's going to be good and reliable for the uh, for the customer there. On the back, lots of options on this tractor to get it to exactly what you need for the application you're working on. So, Talk a little bit about something that, if you take a look at this machine and comparing it to a normal v pad one thing you might notice is, is this is a completely different C-frame up here. We took a traditional C-frame with that vertical tower, split it in half. We put half the meat on the top, half the meat on the bottom. And what that does is that gives us a stronger but lighter C-frame. Stronger and lighter up in the front end of this thing allows us to need a little less counterweight on the back. In fact, you can see how much we need back there. None. No counterweight on the back of this tractor. 
and it's a fantastically balanced doser, as you'll see in a second here when Bob comes on out and uh, jumps in. So, a couple other things we're working back in here as well, too. Brand new redesigned final drive, uh, brand new redesigned roller frames as well, too. These tractors, the LGP versions, are available in either an 8 or a 10 bottom roller frame. That 10 bottom roller, the 10 roller bottom, that gives you excellent uh, finish rate performance, excellent spreading performance. You can go a little bit faster, be a little bit more productive with that 10 roller bottom in there. So these tractors also have a variety of technology on them. So standard, we have several technologies such as stable blade, helps to give you a smooth grading uh, performance when you're in manual grading. We also have uh, slope indicate. Slope indicate's a simple feature, gives the operator a, a visual indication of what the slope is on the tractor while they're there doing that operation. So a nice little training tool uh, to help uh, younger operators maybe kind of feel what a 5% or a 10% slope is. So very nice in terms of that. Uh, we also in these tractors have an option of our cat grade with 3D, and that's our fully integrated 3D grade control. This tractor has it, so does the D3, the D5, and the D7, and you'll see out there as well too. Now we've also got a 2D system on these tractors, most of them, it's called Slope Assist. Slope Assist allows you to set the blade to a target slope, and what that does is it allows you to, to set that blade at a particular target slope that you're trying to finish off. So let's say Bob's out here and he's trying to finish this guy off at a 0% slope, nice and flat. What he can do is use Slope Assist to do that, it doesn't use any GPS, no base stations, no designs, it allows him to get a nice, good, uh, simple, two-dimensional type of, uh, of slope. Uh, without using any of those uh, any of those other type of uh, uh, requirements in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and start talking a little bit about the cab. Uh, Bob, come on out. We'll get ready to, to fire it up here. Brand new cab on our next gen dozers, and this is going to be the D5, D6, D7. All of these tractors have the same cab, and this guy here is our next gen cab. It's wider, it's longer, it's got more surface area and glass. It's got significantly more uh, volume in the cab. We run all of the airflow of this on the back side. All right, up through our brand new air filter back in here, which gives us tons of life in that air filter. And what we're getting here is airflow all throughout that cab. Goes up over the headliner, down the B-post, and really getting lots of airflow around that tractor to keep Bob nice and comfortable in there. So, lots of good stuff in the cab. 13 different adjustments on the seat, right Bob? So you can get it exactly where you want it there. And really helping to make this a nice, comfortable uh, office for Bob while he's out there working. So let's let him get fired up and we'll uh, we'll kind of get in and start taking a look at some of the different technology features in here. How's it feeling there, Bob? Oh, the air conditioning going good, so... Yeah.